Hello and welcome. Today we are given a multi weave sketch. We have top weave, we don't have the front weave, and we have the right weave, and we don't have the isometric weave. Um, this is given to us. We are going to use the Fusion 360, and then we are going to design this object from the multi weave. Then we're going to go to CAD design. So I'm going to go to Fusion 360. First thing, um, if you look at it from here, this is my top view. I don't have the front and I have the right view. Therefore, I'm going to use these dimensions. I'm going to work on the right view. So you need to click the create sketch. And then since I would like to work on the right, I'm going to click the right on the cube. And I'm going to click here. Now I am on the right view. I'm going to use the line tool. We can put the dimensions later. I'm going to just try to a shape that's going to be similar or exactly the same one is provided to me. Okay, I draw the shape. Even if it is not exactly the same, I can uh, put the dimensions on now. And after I put in the dimension, it will look like exactly the same. So now I can click the D on the keyboard or I can click the sketch dimension. This part is supposed to be 2 inches. This part is supposed to be 2.5 inches. And this side is supposed to be 2.5 inches. When you have all the dimensions, sketch will turn the black. It means it is fully constrained. So you cannot... Uh, change the dimensions currently you cannot you cannot move them uh, if the sketch is not completely black it means you are missing a dimension now after that i'm going to click the finish sketch and if i go back to um, multi view it's given to me this is my right view from the right view i can see how high the object i can see the height of the object but by looking the front view, I can see how wide the object is. And it says the 4 inch. So it means that I need to extrude this object 4 inch. So I'm going to go to, I already clicked the finish sketch. I need to click the extrude. And I'm going to write it down 4 inch. And it's going to be new body. I'm going to click OK. Now it is extruded. I can click the home from here. And as you can see, I have the object. So I have the um, the most of the object is done. I am only missing a hole on the top. So I need to make a hole on the top. For that, I'm going to use the circle. And I can see from the multi view sketch, from the right view, there's a dashed lines. It tells me this hole goes through all. So it goes all the way down. So I'm going to click Fusion 360. Since it is on the top, I'm going to click the sketch and I'm going to choose the top. I'm going to use the circle. And it says 0.5. Diameter is 0.5. Now I need to dimension the location of the circle. I'm going to click the dimension tool, sketch dimension. I'm going to click the center of the circle i'm gonna click the side of the object and this distance is supposed to be 0.65 and distance from here the top is supposed to be 0 0.52 0 0.52 enter now sketch completely turned black it means fully constrained i'm gonna click the finish sketch now I can click the extrude. I'm going to choose the sketch that I made it. And I want to cut this instead of like adding new body. So I'm going to change the new body to cut. And it is going the wrong direction. I want them to go down. So I'm going to click. Hmm. It's going to be one side. I just make them to this. Uh, distance to through all okay yeah it's supposed to go this direction 
so I can just instead of distance I can change them to all now it's gonna cut all the way and I'm gonna click OK now the object is completed if I did correctly or not I can um, make the drawing file myself again so then if I see this same from the top view and the right view, and if I put the same dimensions, if the dimensions are going to be same, it means it will be correct. So I'm going to first need to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. Example one. Click save. After I'm saving, I'm going to click the file. New drawing from design. It automatically choose the design. And then I need to choose the sheet size and the units. If I check it, the given to me, it's the size B, scale 1 to 1. And then I'm going to go here. It's B. I'm going to click OK. Perfect. The front view automatically chosen. But as you can see, it says the scale 1 to 2. So I'm going to just click. And delete the one to one. Now it's one to one. So as you can see, it is bigger now. This is the front view. So I want the only top and the right view. I can just change this one front and I can put it top. If I want, I can put directly the top view. But instead, I generally use first the front view. I get I just place the front view. And after I place in, I just click OK. And the, to be able to put the rest of the views, I use to click the project view and I choose the front view and I just need to move my cursor up. That's my top view. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to move my cursor to right. That's going to be my right view. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to move my cursor diagonally. This is going to be my isometric view. When you click green check mark, so you have top, front, and the right view, and you have the isometric view. So you can just right click, edit view, and then you need to choose, it says the select view, you need to choose the view. Now here, you should choose the style, it's going to be shaded for the isometric view, and the close it. Now I need to put the dimensions to be they should be look exactly the same so let's see if the width is four inches the diameter of the circle is 0.5 i can just activate the dimension tool by clicking here and then it says this part supposed to be four i can zoom and as you can see it is four i'm gonna click the escape zoom out as you can see, I put them like uh, closer to the edge and I don't like it. So I can just drag them down. I just left click on it. I'm just pulling them down. And I'm going to click here. I'm going to drag this one here. So it's better now. One click on the four. And I'm going to just move the extension line. That's the four. I should put the center mark for the holes here. So I just need to choose the center mark and click the circle. Now I have the center mark. And I'm going to put the rest of the dimensions. There is the dimension tool, it's here. Dimension. Just click the edge of the circle and it says 0.5 automatically. Distance from here to top, it says 0.52. Distance from here to side, it says 0.65. I'm going to click Escape. And I want this one to go inside. I just need to drag them in. And the same for here. I just need to drag them in. It looks better now. Um, after, I need to put height from here. So I'm going to click the Dimension again. Height is 2 inches, this side 2.5, and then I need to put here, but as you can see, I need to click the escape and I need to drag this object a little bit up. 
be able to drag them up you need to move this one actually and i'm gonna activate the dimension tool that's 2.5 let's check the um what is given to us 4.5 6.5 uh, i mean uh, 0.6.5 0.65 0.52 2.5 2.5 2 if i check it everything is correct who is the designer is here it has the name um, as you can see i have everything correctly and i don't have any dimension on the front view it means it is unnecessary to have the front view i'm gonna just click left click and i'm gonna click delete that is completed um to make more obvious for the designer you can put the text i'm gonna click the text and, and i'm gonna put here saying that you can change the height from here let's make it 0.3 and just write it down all units are inches thank you for watching